Hi there, my name is Bill Rowe. I'm with Parker Guitars. I'm here at Sweetwater Sound. Uh, we just spent the morning going over the brand new Parker Adrian Blue signature guitar. Uh, it had to start here at Sweetwater because Sweetwater and the Blue guitar are a perfect and ideal marriage. Uh, they're both highly evolved, they're both very much on the cutting edge, and we couldn't think of a better place to break out this guitar. It's a guitar at its highest point of uh, evolution, and it is the remo most remarkable and revolutionary guitar yet built. Uh, on that note, I think it'd be a good idea to turn it over to Adrian. So, Adrian, it's all yours. Hi there, I'm Adrian Ballou. This is the Adrian Ballou Signature Model Parker Fly. The first thing you need to do with the Parker Fly, you need to turn it on. In the back, there's a little switch here. When you flip it up, you'll see the light is on, and that means your battery is engaged, and the guitar will sound a lot better. On this guitar, we have onboard pickups, which are DiMarzio pickup. One is a Sustaniac pickup. The DiMarzio gets you all your normal guitar sounds. The Sustaniac operates as a neck pickup unless you have it in Sustaniac mode. Now I'd like to explain the Sustaniac for a moment. Made by our friend Alan Hoover. It's this pickup right here on the guitar. You activate it by pulling the tone knob straight up. Now you're in Sustaniac mode. That note will sustain forever. Now, the second thing you get in Sustainiac mode is this. If you turn the knob fully clockwise, you'll feel a little click, like that. And when you do that, it's switched into an octave up mode. You can do a lot of fun things with it, especially if you have distortions or anything else, delays. It's, it goes from being a very beautiful sound to an all-out screeching sound. So. A lot you can do with the Sustainiac. Now I'd like to show you the five-way switch which controls which pickup you're using or which combination of pickups. According to Jimi Hendrix, this is position number one. With it all the way down, you are using the bridge pickup. You're going to get your <laughs> treble sounds. If you move it to the middle position, which is number three, you're going to get the piezo pickup that's on this guitar. Just like a regular Parker Fly, we have the piezo pickup. What is that? It is the acoustic sounding. If you moved it to position number five, you are playing the bass pickup here, unless you're in Sustainiac mode. If you're in Sustainiac mode, you're just playing the Sustainiac, the five-way switch matters not. And so what happens to position two and position four? Well, this is kind of nice. If you have it between the pickups, as we call it, to position two, you're getting the bridge pickup and the piezo. If you have it in four, you're getting the neck pickup and the piezo. If you look at the third knob, the chrome knob, it's a bit different. That's because it contains the sounds that are in the Line 6 Variax. The Variax models the sound of 25 different guitars, all types of guitars. But the things that I like so much about it are the oddball things, of course. You can get some dobro sounds, for example. <laughs> A sitar, choral sitar. I need to practice that a little bit. You get to the sounds by going here. There's sound one, two, three, four, and five on that category. Move to the next category, and it's the same thing. Five more sounds. Next one, same thing. Five more sounds. If you wanted to get a Stratocaster, in between pickup sound. So easy to do. They made it a little simpler though. There's one more thing that I'd like to show you about the Variax. Remember we activate it by pushing it down. What they've done with the Variax is they've put it 
the end of each throw of the switch. Do you know what I'm saying? In other words, if you turn it all the way this way or you turn it all the way the other way, at the end of each of those throws, you can write in five custom sounds. Now, this is great if you're performing live because you don't have to look down to try to find that Rickenbacker 12 string on there. You've already put it in position three when, when it's all the way this way. Now, so you will be able to have five custom sounds this way and five more custom sounds the other way. And that makes it a little easier to remember what you've got in the Variac since there's so much to it. How do you assign custom sounds with the Variax? Step number one, find the sound you'd like. Let's say you dialed in the Guild Acoustic 12 string sound. Step number two, you hold this little knob in the back of the guitar and don't let go of it until I tell you. Step number three, where do you want to put that sound? Well, it has to be in the extreme counterclockwise position or the full clockwise position. And put it, step number four then would be to move the five-way switch into the position you'd like to have it. Another great thing about the Signature Fly is it's MIDI ready. That means you can plug it into any device that accepts MIDI. That would be keyboards or guitar synthesizers. It's a whole new world of stuff for you. And you don't have to do anything extra to the guitar. It's already all built in. All you do is you plug in the 13 pin cord in the same place you would plug a guitar and the information goes MIDI. So there you have the operation of this beautiful, incredible instrument. Thank you so much for buying it. But I want to say a few words about the Parker Fly in general and why I think it's such an amazing, amazing guitar. Ken Parker took 20 years to develop all the aspects of this guitar to perfect all the things that are wrong with electric guitars, and he's done a, a remarkable job. You start with, you've got the headstock up here. It looks a little strange. That's because he carved away all the unnecessary wood. And guess what happens when you do that? It resonates better, unbelievably. Then you have these tuning keys here. They're made by my buddy uh, Bob Spurzel, and they lock. And that means the guitar won't go out of tune. So simple. You put the string through, you tighten it in the back, you cut it off, and you're done. I can restring this guitar and have it singing perfectly in tune in about five minutes. Let's go to the, my favorite thing of the Parker Fly, which is the neck. Now, you would never be able to get a neck that would play so comfortably and be so thin and sleek and perfect as this neck if you just used a piece of wood. What Ken Parker has done is brilliant. It is a piece of wood, but it's coated on the back with some remarkable uh, sci-fi material, some kind of carbon resin or something, and it's baked into the guitar. And guess what it does? It makes the wood 10,000 times stronger, something like that. You could stand on this neck and it won't hurt it. It'll never go out of tune. It will never need to be intonated. He put in stainless steel frets. First time anyone had ever thought of that. So you don't have to do fret jobs. Now this guitar is remarkable to me because anywhere you play, even the highest note to the lowest note, it's perfect. The intonation is always perfect. There's never any dead spots, nothing like that. Next thing on the guitar, I'd like to talk about tremolo arm. I can move my notes up a, a whole third. Or down as far as I want. Comes back in tune every time. So those are just some of the advances he did. Putting on the uh, magnetic pickups and the piezo, the beautiful color schemes you get on these guitars. I don't know. I think it makes it, in my mind, the Ferrari of electric guitars. Thank you, Adrian, and thank you so much, dear viewer, for stopping by Sweetwater to check out the brand new Adrian Ballou signature guitar. Uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement here. Please get with your Sweetwater sales engineer to look further into getting one of these fabulous instruments for yourself. Thank you again.